Hello dear friends, welcome to KTEC. In this video, we learn about digital multimeter and measuring various parameters of electronic components using it. So let's get started. First of all, you must have a digital multimeter. I have a very basic model DT830D. This is a very basic model. It is very cheaper. It costs only 100 rupees in the Indian market. You must also have measuring probes. They are given with the multimeter. Few components for testing. So now as you can see the digital multimeter it has an LCD display, the rotating knob and a few sockets. So first of all as you can see at the bottom of the multimeter there are three ports. First is the common port, the second is for measuring voltage, resistance and current in milliamps and the third one is for measuring higher values of current. So now while inserting the probes of the multimeter there are two colors one is black and other is the red one so the black is used for common so insert this in the com port and the red one just above it so now our multimeter is ready for testing various components or measuring the values of components first of all we'll just take an overview of the multimeter here you can measure the ac voltage this symbol represents ac this is AC voltage, it can measure AC voltage up to 750 volts. It also can measure ampere that is DC current and it can measure HEP gain that is beta or the current gain of the transistor. This is the square wave generator. This is the continuity tester. Here you can measure the resistance of the resistor. Here this is used for measuring the voltage that is DC voltage so now let's get started first we will measure resistance of some resistors if you if you have a resistor and the resistance of which you don't know then you have to select this knob over the highest value of the resistance available on your multimeter and just take the resistor you want to measure you can also calculate the resistance of this register using the color code on it so we'll just now look how to measure the resistance of this register using the multimeter first just take the two probes and connect one to one end and the other on the other end and just hold it so as you can see the multimeter displays the reading it is 94 means around 90 so this is how you can measure the resistance and I'll just take a smaller resistance, smaller value resistance. I'll try it again. So, as you can see, it is one. That is, this display is in kilo. This is 2000 kilo, kilo ohms, 2000 kilo ohms. So, some resistances, you can see here one. So, I'll just take another resistance. For this resistance, it is zero, zero. That means this value the selected range is much higher so just decrease the range and then again try so it is 0 0.3 again decrease the range and again try it so now it is point again so just decrease the range and just measure so the resistance value of this is 325 ohm okay this is how you can measure the resistance of unknown resistors if you start from a lower range it will display one that means the selected range is not proper so I'll just show you I have selected the smallest range and I'll check a register so it is displaying one that means the selected range is not suitable so just increase the range and try again so now as you can see the display 464 ohm okay so this is how you can measure the resistances so now we'll look upon the continuity tester that is there is a buzzer sign and a diode is shown here so if you have any wire or a wire which is too long and if you want to check the continuity of it just hold the two ends of it to uh, to the two probes of the multimeter so now i'll for example i'll just take this wire and these are the two ends of it and I'll just select this selector on the 
continuity tester and just hold these two probes to the ends so as you can see the or hear the beep sound so that means the wire is continuous so this is how you can check the continuity of various electrical components and after that there is a square wave generator this generates square wave after that there is a HFE this symbol is for gain that is the beta gain or transistor gain that is current gain of a transistor so how to measure this transistor gain so here you can see a blue circle with some ports on it so below that it is written NPN and PNP this is NPN and PNP there are two types of transistors one is NPN and other is PNP so and a transistor has three ports emitter base and collector so how to measure the HFE gain of the transistor so I have a transistor I don't know whether it is an NPN or an PNP also the number is not visible on it if you have a number on it it is very easy so let's get started so to measure the HFE gain or the current gain of a transistor just you must know the pins whether which is the collector emitter and base pin so if you don't know just try just select this knob on the HFE gain and just insert it in any of the ports first I'll try from NPN side so this is emitter collector base so I'll just insert in this fashion emitter collector base if it doesn't show anything that means the inserted position is not correct so it doesn't show anything that means this is not the correct position now I'll insert here collector base emitter again it doesn't show anything this is also not correct I'll insert here in PNP side again you can see it is not showing anything so this is also not the correct way and now I'll just insert in here so as you can see it shows some reading 193 that is the current gain of this transistor actually I don't know the number of this transistor so I have tried in all the ports so if you don't know any or the number of the transistor is not visible on it you can try it in any of the ports and just you can find out the emitter base collector terminal so here I have inserted in this and you can see here okay so now as you can see I have inserted in this fashion and the respective terminals that is this is the first one is the emitter and the following is the base and the last one is collector so the left one is the emitter the middle one is the base and the last one is the collector of this transistor so we can find the emitter base collector of a transistor using multimeter if you don't know the number now we will see how to check AC voltage first of all you must have AC supply select the knob of the multimeter to AC voltage I will select it to 750 voltage just select higher values and insert the two probes of the multimeter in the supply and just switch on the supply so as you can see in the LCD it displays 247.48 volts so this is the reading and this is how we will check the AC voltage in the similar fashion you can check the DC voltage as well as DC current for checking the DC voltage you must have access to the two terminals of the DC supply and to check the DC current you must connect this multimeter in series with the circuit so you can check the current as well as voltage in this multimeter so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video thank you oh wait don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel